Hello and welcome to Diary of a Trader and thank you for watching this video. This is in a series of videos on the introduction to Bitcoin and how to trade other cryptocurrencies. And in this video, we're going to go over uh, how to use and buy and trade altcoins in, in a market. And one of the first things people ask is, okay, I buy some Bitcoin, but I want to buy some other altcoins. How do you do that? Because there's basically two kinds of exchanges. We, you've already seen the video where we've gone over Coinbase, where you can deposit your dollars or your euros, and you can get Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, or Bitcoin Cash. Well, then the question is, what do you do after that? Well, then you have to find another exchange that deals predominantly with altcoins. And for this video, we'll be using Binance.com. And that is just www.binance.com. And here you'll see that they have a large number of coins that you can trade. If you're familiar with the Forex markets where you have things like the EUR, USD, so that's the Euro dollar pair, you're going to see a lot of this. So there's, there's different markets for a lot of these coins. So BNB is Binance coin that is their own cryptocurrency that you can trade other altcoins against there's the bitcoin market itself where you trade other altcoins against the performance of bitcoin there's the ethereum market and then there's USTD. this is tether and so tether is what's called a a stable coin a tether is a cryptocurrency but it is it is tied to the us dollar so one tether equals one dollar so if you want to kind of a trade just dollars against uh, a cryptocurrency then the tether is what you use but you'll, you'll notice though that tether is reserved only for a few cryptocurrencies even though there's significant volume traded in them whereas in bitcoin um, you there's hundreds of coins that you can trade now if you remember watching in the coinbase video we have to create an account you have to do the same thing here okay um, even though this is not based in the US, this is actually based in Malta. Bit Binance was originally in China, and then when China cracked down on cryptocurrency trading, they decided they were going to leave, and then they went to Japan, and then when Japan had some issues, I mean, they're better now, but they then Binance left Japan, and they went to the little island of Malta. Now, the same thing applies, though. There's this, that thing called the KYC, know your customer. You have to do that here, too. So if we want to trade here, we basically go through the same process that we did uh, to register in Coinbase. We just go to register, and we type in an email. Password. And if somebody referred you, you can do that. And then you just click I agree and then you register. Oh, make sure that this is. And then you'll always have to do this little thing here. You always have to do this little slide thing. You have to do it pretty fast. Too. You got to get it in. Otherwise, it won't let you in. Now you're going to get an email. So I need to go to my email. I'm going to pull that up on another screen here. And so when you get your email, we'll just, it'll ask you to verify the email. We just click that and it'll open up another tab for us that it's been activated. We just click on login and we do this stuff again. All right, there we go. And then we'll be able to get into our, our uh, account. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that that we will get to, uh, uh, you know, telling us that we have a lot of things we need to be aware of. So don't send funds to anybody you don't know. Never tell your password or your 2FA, the two-factor authentication, and, and so forth. And we want to make sure that we check all of these. Now we're into our account. And this is where you should do this. So you'll have to download an app. And it's just the same as we've done on Coinbase where you'll get a Google authentication code. And we're just going to hit skip for now because if you've done that on Coinbase, then, then, you, then you already have it. And then we're basically into our just our basic account information. So we've only got uh, uh, our first uh, level of, of, of authorization. And 
just like on Coinbase, we're going to have to do a submit verification documents because if we don't, we are severely limited to how much we can take out or put in to into Binance. And in order to do that, of course, we have to do our SMS authorization. But then after you've done that, you're good to go. And I'm just going to log into my own Binance account very quickly. All right, now that I've logged into my account, we can see that that uh, I'm on the basic screen here. That on the exchange, if you hover over that, you'll see basic and advanced. And so the basic will just look like this. There's not a lot to it. Uh, basic buy and sell uh, 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 interface here. And then on the advanced, you get a, a really a pretty uh, more detailed look at your order history, the orders that you have open. The current bids and offers or the buys and sells bid asks whatever you want to call it you can select the coin you want to trade and you can see the chart for it here there's a few indicators that you can apply here as well but uh, you know the, ultimately the first question that you're probably asking is well how do I get to trade money here how do I trade coins how do I trade currencies when to do that we have to go through the process of sending cryptocurrencies from our coinbase account to our binance account and this and we're gonna go do that right now and so I'm gonna go to coinbase and I'm going to look for the coin that I want to send and for this we're gonna use Litecoin I bought some Litecoin for the purposes of this video and we can see my balance here I have about 11 and a half Litecoin now I need to go to accounts and I need to find my Litecoin wallet. And here's where I can send and receive Litecoin. And of course, I'm gonna to wanna to hit send and it's gonna tell me to input an address. And this is just like an email address, but I need to figure out what the address is to send it. And now what we want to do is we want to go to balances. I wanna find Litecoin, so I'll just type in LTC. And then I want to click deposit because I want to send it to Binance. And when I click that deposit, it's going to bring up the address that I need to send it to. And that is that funky code right there. All I need to do is just single click that copy address and it's going to copy it to my clipboard. And then that just goes right onto the address line. If we go back to Coinbase, right click there, paste. And I select the amount that I want to send and hit continue. Do my two factor authentication and I'm done and now all I have to do is I just wait for it to show up now if we look at the bottom right hand corner of this video we can see that it's 4 50 p.m. and let's see how long it takes to get all of my Litecoin from Coinbase and through the marvels of video editing we have fast forwarded in time 10 minutes and we can see that there are three out of four confirmations yet we are looking at where this could be at also we can we can look at the blockchain transactions as well and see what transactions are happening how my, how many other uh, litecoin transactions have been happening we can see mine below there at the 11.43 and what i can also do is i can also go over to coinbase and coinbase will also notify me how many uh, 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 confirmations have been completed and i have to refresh that there and now it says I have four. So that means that I actually have the cryptocurrency of Litecoin in my wallet on Binance. And we can also see the other balances that I have. But now we need to get into, well, how do you trade this? How can I sell my Litecoin and trade it to buy something else? And to do that, we're going to go over to the exchange part here. And so if you remember where to go on the exchange, we're going to find the Litecoin tether pair and I want to sell some of it. So I have 11.43 and let's say I want to sell half and I want to sell it right away. So I'm going to sell it at the market and the market means that the, the, the transaction is going to happen immediately when you hit sell. If something's a limit, that means you, you're going to wait for it to be at a certain price, but market means you're just going to take the order at whatever the price is currently traded. And there's my, it tells me that I have sold it for that much and I have that much tether. Now I want to take the tether I have and I want to buy some ADA or Cardano and I just put in how much I want and hit the buy button. Not too fast, otherwise it doesn't update that fast. But now I now instead I've sold my Litecoin, I've turned it into tether and I've taken my tether now and I've bought Cardano. 
So this concludes our video over Binance and how to send uh, cryptocurrencies from one account to the other. I hope you found this video helpful and that it is a benefit to you. And I look forward to talking with you in our future videos. Have a great day.